what's it all about? America, Jesus, and freedom. Say it again. America, Jesus, and freedom. And what does that mean? I don't know, but the people sure love it when I say it. This dry, hot weather will continue. Until September 22nd, midday. And if the ark isn't finished by then, you will be. Is that when it's going to happen? September 22nd, midday? High temperatures tomorrow back into the 90s everywhere. Hello all, this is Lawrence one more time. Listen, I want to go ahead and start this video by um, just preferencing the video by saying if you think these 923 videos that you're seeing on YouTube are not important and they're just coincidence, I just want to preference this video by saying this is my third video that I've been able to put together in two weeks time with the numbers 9 and 23 involved um, and particularly this particular video is going to be focused on the Pope which is a major player in this whole 923 concept so uh, definitely want to encourage you to pay attention to these videos I think they're very uh, valid uh, I, I'm not saying that uh, it's the end of the world type stuff but I am saying there's a very big drive by the powers that be to throw this information out there so you might want to listen to it so anyway um, I'm watching TV the other day and I'm seeing a report on the Pope making his way to America on 9:22, and uh, it was on ABC and I'm looking at the logos that are associated with Los Angeles television which is ABC 7 and it's 77 degrees out and it's just too much um, to ignore the coincidences going on so that's why I'm putting this whole video together and um, this is definitely predictive programming uh, as far as this news piece okay so let's go ahead and move on to what is 923 and what it, what should it mean to you just in case you didn't know uh, the big drive right now is to uh, for you to understand that 923 is in direct alignment with the uh, four blood moon prophecies uh, from the, uh, the from the Bible, basically. So um, these Jew Jewish religious observance that are coming up in September all relate to the four blood moons, and something substantial always happens with Israel. So. Um, Jesus would be a Jew and he would be uh, the Messiah uh, as far as Christians are concerned so that he may be involved in this whole four blood moon concept uh, who knows but um, that's what it's about it's it's a set of observances that um, really lead to something substantial with the uh, Israelite people uh, last last 14 years uh, 14 years ago was 9-11, and then uh, seven years from there, you had the collapse of a market. So um, things things just are aligning for America for something big to happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, who Pope Francis is. He's actually uh, the first pope that came out of the Jesuit order, which basically means he's from the science division of the church. So they're in charge of uh, astrology and the knowing instead of just faith driven uh, part of the church. It's actually just it's it's about proof. So that's pretty substantial, I'd say. He's also part of a 500 year old prophecy. Um, and he's said to be the last pope sitting uh, at the um, at the throne of the Catholic Church. And uh, he's known as Petrus Romanos. Um, he took his name from another pope that was named Francis. And if you um, investigate it, you'll find out that, that that pope's name was Francis, but his real uh, name was Petrus Romanos or Peter. And he came from Rome. So, And also the significance of this particular pope is he seems to be a lot more gracious and um, humble. And he's working towards serving more than most popes. And he's 
denying some of the um some of the perks of being a pope so he'll he'll go on vacation and or when he moves from here to there he'll pay for his own hotel rooms and things of that nature he just tries to be humble it seems so when he comes into town on the 22nd he'll be actually um landing in new york and he'll learn he'll land at new york uh, at 4 p.m in the afternoon which is interesting because there's a uh a video piece that really talks about something substantial happening on the 22nd midday of September and um, four o'clock puts it at midday because the definition of midday is any time between 12 and sundown basically. And so he lands midday. He'll be coming in from Cuba, which is interesting because if you look at some of these conspiracy uh, theory videos, they talk about how Cuba is uh, symbolic of the cube, which is actually symbolic of Saturn, which has been transferred into Satan throughout the ages. So if we take a good look at the map, it shows Cuba in just, I guess it would be uh, southeast of Cuba is Haiti. So Saturn sits on top of Haiti. So Satan sits on top of hell. And then the cube has been opened by Barack Obama and the Pope is the Holy Father is going to come flying in from the opened cube. And it's interesting also that if you were to uh, make a three dimensional, uh, a three dimensional model of a cube, and if you were to open it up, it would look like a cross. So that's, <laughs> It's, I, I can't make this stuff up. I was actually, I've learned all this stuff online, so it's pretty crazy. Anyway, that's what's going on. He's going to be flying in uh, to New York from Cuba on the 22nd, 4 o'clock, which makes it midday. So what really caught my attention on this particular news piece is the News anchors seemed really infatuated with the Pope. And even this one news anchor was saying, um, what, what is it like to talk to the Holy Father? Something like that. And um, it really struck me as odd because really it seems like the media has kind of gone the other way and really been very um, liberal. And now they're talking about this conservative uh, church uh this, this savior-like figure stepping in. So there's a very specific scripture that says, do not call anyone on earth father. And that's always been, um, I've always looked at that and laughed because the Catholic Church has ignored it. And to me, this news piece basically says, look, we, we've always understood the scripture and now we're beginning to come clean on the fact that this should have never taken place. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to go ahead and roll the... Um, the tape, and uh, I'll tr I'll roll it once un uninterrupted. And I'll go back and explain it bit per bit. What was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? What was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? What was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? A special honor for Catholics in Los Angeles today. The city was among only three U.S. communities picked for a first ever virtual audience with Pope Francis. In his exclusive report, Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes talked with some of the lucky few in Los Angeles who talked with the pontiff. When Pope Francis steps in front of the camera, he has a potential audience of more than a billion people. But today, the leader of the Catholic Church turned the tables, using cameras to let his followers reach him. Who wakes up and says, I'm going to be able to talk to the Pope? It's just, wow. Wow, indeed. Pope Francis in the Vatican, taking questions and listening to stories via satellite from people in Chicago, McAllen, Texas, and right here in Los Angeles. An exclusive and very secretive virtual audience set up by ABC News. These people walked in here today and had no idea who they were going to talk to until 
they saw the Pope on the screen, and it was a huge shock. More than 100 people packed the Vortex Arts Center near downtown L.A. to be part of this high-tech audience with the Pope. Single mom Rosemary Farfin and her two young daughters addressing the worldwide leader of the Catholic Church, their big moment, a bit overwhelming. I was very nervous. 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 He's just humble and gentle, and he's nice and kind, and I always wanted to speak to the Pope. And there I was, just standing, just talking to the Pope. Today's satellite exchange is a precursor to Francis's upcoming visit to the U.S. in late September. The Pope slated to meet with the President, Congress, and the United Nations. But today, today was a chance for him to meet with the people outside the spotlight. He's even more humble than what I thought about and what I've read about and researched and stuff, mm -hmm. and how insightful he is. What was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? This is a community that so often doesn't get heard. And to hear that the Pope wanted to hear what they had to say, they got to tell their stories to someone who wanted to hear about their struggle, their injustice, and he listened. The entire virtual audience with the Pope slated to air in a special edition of ABC's 2020 this Friday night at 10 o'clock. In Los Angeles, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And be sure to stay tuned for a special edition of World News Tonight with David Muir for much, much more on the Pope's historic virtual audience with Americans hosted exclusively by David Muir. That is next at 6.30 here on ABC7 and on the Watch ABC. These people walked in here today and had no idea who they were going to talk to until they saw the Pope on the screen. And it was a huge shock. More than 100 people packed the Vortex Arts Center near downtown L.A. to be part of this high-tech audience with These the people Pope. walked in here today and had no idea who they were going to talk to until they saw the Pope on the screen. And it was a huge shock. More than 100 people packed the Vortex Arts Center. near downtown LA to be part of this high-tech audience with downtown LA to be part of this high-tech audience with downtown LA to be part of this high-tech audience with the Pope a bit overwhelming I was very nervous nervous overwhelming I was very nervous 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 He's just humble and gentle, and he's nice and kind, and I always wanted to speak to the Pope, and there I was just standing, just talking to the Pope. Today's satellite exchange is a precursor to Francis's upcoming visit to the U.S. in late September. The Pope slated to meet with the President, Congress, and the United Nations. But today, today was a chance for him to meet with the people outside the spotlight. He's even more humble than what I thought about and what I've read about and researched and stuff mm -hmm. and how insightful he is. What, what was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? What was it like to talk to the Holy Father this today? This is a community that so often doesn't get heard. And to hear that the Pope wanted to hear what they had to say, they got to tell their stories to someone who wanted to hear about their struggle, their injustice, and he listened. The entire virtual audience with the Pope slated to air in a special edition of ABC's 2020 this Friday night at 10 o'clock. In Los Angeles, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And be sure to stay tuned for a special edition of World News Tonight with David Muir for much, much more on the Pope's historic virtual audience with Americans hosted exclusively by David Muir. That is next at 6.30 here on ABC7 and on The Watch. What was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? What was it like to talk to the Holy Father today? This dry, hot weather will continue. Until September 22nd, midday. And if the ark isn't finished by then, you will be. Is that when it's going to happen? September 22nd, midday? High temperatures tomorrow back into the 90s everywhere.